Hello, Jörg Stuttlich here with Ruta & Stark from Austria. We're a relatively new company and we have designed and built the SX-1 modular tactical rifle. What's really unique about our company is also our barrel manufacturing. So in fact, we have a patent pending process to produce the rifling of our barrels. This enables us to order the steel just as we want it from the steel works, talking about hardness and strength. With our electrochemical process, we then produce the rifling after our milling and turning operations. So this really means these barrels are all uniform. They are only being manufactured using CNC machines. In fact, barrel number one is going to be and behave exactly like barrel number 3000. Actually, we can guarantee 0.5 MOA accuracy using factory match grade ammunition. Points that make it modular are, for example, the ability to incorporate different magazines from different manufacturers. Just by utilizing or swapping out the mag well, it gives me the opportunity to change between different magazines in the same caliber. Also for the magnum calibers, we have the opportunity to swap between single stack and double stack magazines. Let's go to the system here. Here you can see our aircraft grade aluminum handguard. As you can see, it's an octagonal cross section, enabling the user to install Picatinny rail segments in 45 degree steps via M-lock or via M5 screws. The receiver itself is also being made out of one solid billet of aircraft grade aluminum. The action is running completely dry on this one. We were on some shooting events already before SHOT Show and uh, I mean these rifles just ran flawlessly. We were out in the desert, there was wind kicking up pretty much and uh, we didn't have any issues whatsoever. Of course, where there is no oil, you don't have any opportunity for sand to accumulate. This rifle utilizes a Remington 700 type trigger, AR-15 pistol grips, and also for our proprietary buttstock, we have an AR-15 type mount back here. The buttstock is fully adjustable. I've got my length of pull adjustment right here. It goes for more than two inches. Just fix it back up here, and it's nice and solid. I will find my, my recoil pad adjustment right here. So just fix it back up. And of course, the cheek piece can also be stagelessly adjusted in height and also in the angle to the bore axis. So I can use my hand as an improvised rest here. As you can see, there is more than enough space to just accommodate my thumb. Also, if weight is not super critical and I would choose to use a monopod, I just take off this polymer cap and there's my attachment point right here. We have also, of course, with military operators in mind, built in, here are three position safety. This one would be the firing position. As you can see, we also have a cocking indicator back here. So this, of course, is visual and tactile. So when I'm cocking the rifle, this part of the firing pin nut protrudes and signals exactly the status in which the rifle is in right now. This is going to be our first safety position. It will still let me operate the bolt. Second safety position will lock the bolt in place. This is especially going to come in handy if I choose the setup for the Ritter & Stark proprietary SX-1 MTR buttstock to be folded to the left. This can easily be achieved on operator's level as well. As you can see here, we're mechanically fixing our folding buttstock. So I've got my release button on the other side moving this hook. So when I'm folding the buttstock right now, the hook engages this element and it's really being held in place super fixed. I mean, also with, with uh, military in mind, you don't want to exit your airplane or your helicopter and your buttstock getting loose, right? So this is really a very robust and nice fixing here. To unfold the buttstock, I simply press the release button right here. And it's going back into position. If I still want to make the system lighter, I can remove the handguard. Let's say I know I'm not going to need a night vision device running in front of my scope. So this also, of course, is quite a nice option I have here. 
So basically, this would be a full power 338 Lapua Magnum, 27 inch heavy barrel, weighing in at 5.8 kilograms. It is the lightest system out there. So the barrel is being held in place with three screws. Just unscrew them and take them out. So as you could see, everything I need to change my caliber basically is this multi-tool, four millimeter Allen wrench. Take out the bolt like this. And there comes your barrel. As you can see, we have a Picatinny rail installed directly on the barrel. This in fact means I have the possibility to use a preset scope already and it's not necessary to re-zero my scope after caliber change. Also a very nice feature on this one. Now let's take off the magazine adapter. Also being held in place within the chassis just by one screw. So I'm tighten this one and it comes off just like this. You can take it now here. And give it to my 308 adapter. So just move it here. Tighten it up again. To disassemble the bolt, I don't need any tools at all. Notice that the firing pin is cocked and the safety is on. This really makes life easier. You just don't have to fight against the force of the firing pin spring like this. So you will find this little slider here, push it back, rotate it up here, and off come your safety and firing pin. So there's your cross pin and your bolt head. There's my 308 bolt head. Again, by design, you cannot do any mistake. There's only one possibility you're going to assemble everything back together. Also you will find your index here on the cross pin should point into the direction the firing pin is moving. So you just know you aligned the hole. So find my mark here, my slider, rotate it back. That's basically your 308 bolt right now. So put your 308 barrel in and also a really nice feature on the SX-1 MTR is the setting of the headspace. We all know this is a critical issue. Don't get it wrong, this can be catastrophic. So basically also here no room for error. What we do basically when we lock the bolt inside the barrel before we have the screws mounted, we're pulling the barrel back thus automatically generating the headspace we want. You cannot do anything wrong here. So let us just uh, put the screws back here. What these will do will be to align the barrel within the receiver. As you can see, we have a big contact area for barrel and receiver. This is working out really nicely. Also, in some trials, we, we tried to shoot the rifle without screws at all. So. Uh, the rifle is still perfectly safe to operate. Zero is off, of course, because as I just said, the alignment is happening right when we tighten down the screws. It's a very repeatable process. And of course, since you have your Picatinny rail directly on the barrel, your zero is going to be exactly where you had it the last time. So let's just get back to the handguard. Like this, it's easy. So we just swap the caliber on the Rutter and Stark SX-1 MTR from 338 Lapua Magnum to a 308 conversion.